Hello everyone, James Templeton here again, and today I am going to share with you the supplement that saved my life. And as many of you probably know that over 32 years ago, I was diagnosed with stage four melanoma that uh, had spread in my body and it was you know, not too good. And it had gotten in my lymphatic system and you know, it didn't have a really nice outlook ahead. So I was there in the hospital and I remember this very well like it was yesterday uh, someone brought me a book and I can't remember who that was because I was so you know probably drugged up and everything else is the way they they do you when you're in the hospital especially with cancer with painkillers and all this but someone brought me a book and uh, the book actually was delivered through them from a, a distant relative and this book was about vitamin C and cancer and it was by a man by the name of Linus Pauling and Linus Pauling was a uh, biochemist and he had done a lot of research on vitamin C and he had actually won the Nobel Peace Prize and the Nobel Prize for his work uh, in different areas of work but he was notably known for his vitamin C research and vitamin C in this book that was talked about said that, you know, if you, if they did a study in this book with people that were terminally ill and these people had cancer and they were basically going to die and they put these people on vitamin C up to like 10 grams a day and these people actually lived for quite a while, some of them, uh, until they stopped the vitamin C and then they actually passed away. So I read this and it made me think, well, I'm going to do vitamin C. Uh, eventually I got out of the hospital and I started using a macrobiotic diet as kind of my staple and my lifestyle. And I wanted to use this vitamin C also, you know, with this diet. Now vitamin C has been, been a very, very important, uh, part of my nutritional daily needs. And as you can see here, I have a lot of supplements in this bag here. And people always ask me, says, do you really take all these supplements? Are you gonna take these? Is this just for the day? And I say, no, I actually take this with each meal. And uh, sometimes it's only two meals a day that I eat. I'll eat a light breakfast or have a smoothie, one of our smoothies. And I don't really feel like I need to take my supplements in. So I'll take them at lunch and I'll take them at dinner. But what I do is I take a lot of vitamin C and I've been doing the vitamin C for a long time. I've taken up from 10 grams a day to 10,000 milligrams a day basically and t up to 20,000 milligrams a day. And uh, you know, I've done this. Now I haven't had any kind of side effects whatsoever. Uh, I've read things where people that take too much vitamin C, they get uh, you know, problems with uh, iron absorption, too much iron in the system, or maybe they have low copper levels. So that's something if you take more level, higher levels of vitamin C, you need to monitor with the blood test. But, you know, I haven't had a problem myself, and I haven't had kidney stones, which I've heard that can cause kidney stones. So it's been a great thing for me. But when I started taking the vitamin C, back then, I just started to feel better and better. And I didn't actually start taking it until I got out of the hospital and got on the macrobiotic diet. But I can tell you, I had so much more energy, so much more vitality. Within three months, I felt like I was on my way. And I really didn't feel good at all in the hospital. I felt so weak and so, so bad and so tired. And I had lost so much weight that I had no really outlook at all ahead other than, you know, get myself together, find something quick, or, or I was going to be on my way out. So the vitamin C, I feel, really made a huge difference. And later on, down the road, after I was doing so well, and this has been quite a few years later, but after all these years of taking vitamin C, I wondered why I got well and other people didn't. Now, was it because of the diet? Was it because of the, the vitamin C? What was it? 
And there was a doctor that did a study with blindness polling of all people, you know, that came out, I believe it was either 2007 or something like that, this study that they came out with that after 15 years of studying with this vitamin C protocol that they put together for cancer people, and there was a Dr. Rath, his name is uh, Matthias Rath, R-A-T-H, and Linus Pauling did this study together. And the study showed that with a combination of vitamin C, a combination of lysine, which is an amino acid, a combination of uh, 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 proline, and a combination of EGCG, which is a derived from green tea extract, and what they did was they put this together and it had, had people with different types of cancer and they used this study for 15 years and they used a, also a group that was a placebo group. Now, I don't uh, know what kinds of cancer that, that everyone had, but I know the ones that did the best. There were certain results that were almost 100% cure rate with this vitamin C uh, you know, uh, combination, and they basically said that it stopped it from spreading. They discovered that cancer is a collagen disease, and cancer spreads through the collagen. The collagen fibers in our bodies, the tissue, everything has collagen fibers. And when the cancer gets into an area and it starts to form a tumor, then there's there are certain enzymes that the cancer uh, cells have that can eat through this collagen and when they eat through the collagen they spread and they can go to different organs they can create the inflammation they can create havoc in the system so what they found out that when you take this this uh, matrix this uh, these cellular nutrients I believe is what they called it when you take this combination for a long time that it basically stops the cancer from being able to get through the the uh, uh, the tissue through the uh, the uh, collagen and it through the collagen fibers and it can't get through there. When it can't get through there, it really doesn't survive very well because it can't spread. And it basically, the vitamin C, of course, there's also research that shows that vitamin C when it when it makes contact with cancer cells, makes the cancer cells basically create, I mean, uh, to um, the cancer cells commit suicide. So that's a great thing if you are fighting anything like cancer. But vitamin C also, other than cancer and other than this, has been known to uh, help with detoxification. It's a very strong antioxidant. It helps with uh, the immune system unlike anything else. It takes 20 times more vitamin C uh, to uh, the, the uh, in other words, the white blood cells absorb 20 times more vitamin C than a normal cell. Vi and white blood cells are like your your army, it's like your, your soldiers that fight disease and bacteria in your body. So it's very important that you have a certain amount of vitamin C that, that will feed these uh, white blood cells in an adequate way. And the thing is, is that if you don't get enough vitamin C, like a lot of us don't get in, in vegetables and, and, and fruits, I mean, I know when people get colds and the flu, the first thing that we're told is to go drink orange juice and eat, eat lots of fruit and all this stuff. But, you know, it's very, very hard to get enough vitamin C. So I have found that the vitamin C has helped me through the years. I found that it actually, I think, saved my life is what I think personally. Now, that's just from what I think and just from what I've seen. And, and I've been taking all this vitamin C all these years. And I think it's just a wonderful thing. And, uh, you know, like that, that study that Dr. Rath and Dr. Pauling, Linus Pauling, uh, did that 15 year study, it shows, it proves that vitamin C really does uh, combat cancer, it combats a lot of things. They've also done studies that shows that it helps 
in your arteries, for, for uh, you know, your blood vessels and your arteries, the collagen, and help strengthen that, helps to prevent against heart disease. And I can honestly say that, you know, a few years ago, I went to have a calcium score scan done because I was having some chest pains. I got exposed to a mold, some mold in a house that we were renting at the time when we were building our home. And I went to a doctor because I didn't know what was wrong and I, my lungs had gotten really inflamed and I had pressure and I didn't know what was wrong and of course I didn't have a heart problem but I went through a lot of different tests and I went and did a calcium score scan which was in New York City and, and this scan was uh, you know something that wasn't very uh, known at that time and I went into this guy and he did me did this test he ran me through this almost like a CAT scan and he took pictures of all my arteries and he could see everything and when he got out he says can I have a talk with you really quick and I said yes sir you can I thought he was going to tell me I was clogged up and I was really in bad shape because I didn't know I mean how do you know so the guy says, what are you doing? And I said, well, I'm trying to eat healthy. I'm trying to do the right thing. And he comes to me and he says, well, whatever you're doing, you better stick to it. Because he said that your arteries are like a baby's arteries. He said, I haven't seen this that I know of. And all these years I've been working with this kind of thing. He said, this is something, whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. So I really started to believe that the vitamin C was not only good for you know can my cancer prevention and for my immunity and for my detoxification, but it's also good for my heart. So it made me very excited, and to this day it still stands up. When I last year I had another test, the same thing, and it's like you know a, almost unheard of. But I don't think anybody's taking more vitamin C than me because so many of these pills in here you see are vitamin C, different types of vitamin C. And I'm just going to keep doing it. I think it's helped me. I know that most of you aren't going to want to take that much. But I recommend, you know, if it helps me and it helps others, why not take a little extra? And the vitamin C that I think... Uh, can really make it help help you make a difference. Uh, I've taken this time C that we have at Unikey for over 25 years, and this is a time C that is, uh, you know, is uh, time released. It helps to release slowly into the body, into the system, and you absorb it better. It has magnesium and lysine also in there. The magnesium and the lysine are excellent. Well, I took this for years, didn't even know about the lysine thing. So, you know, it's funny how you find out things later on. But this is the product that we have here at Unikey. Uh, I still take this, but another formula or two that I take are this Dr. Rath's formula. And Dr. Rath has these formulas. These are some of the formulas that we use in the study. And there's two of them. One of them is a Vita C Forte, and the other one is the Healthy Collagen Synergy formula. And you can get these, and he has other ones also. You know, you can check out Dr. Rath. I believe his website is, I'm gonna look at this because I wanna tell you the right thing here. It is dr-rath-foundation.org. Uh, and that's dr-rath-foundation.org. Check out this, these studies, check out his information. This guy is remarkable what the work he's doing. I really believe in them. You know, Linus Pauling is my hero. I really think that his work saved my life along with the macrobiotic diet and along with healthy eating. And uh, you've got to keep your sugar down, folks. You know, low, very low sugar diet is your best friend. Take some vitamin C. You know, it all works together and uh, eat a really healthy diet. Uh, I really think that it's going to help you. I hope that you made some sense out of what I said today. Please follow us and like us today on Facebook. And also, please share this information with your friends. Uh, I've got a new foundation that I'm just starting to put together. 
and it's going to be called the Templeton uh, uh, Foundation. It's the Templeton Wellness Foundation is what it's going to be called. I have to think because we've changed the name a couple of times. The Templeton Wellness Foundation, and we're going to be dealing with alternative cancer treatments that are out there. We're going to be dealing with, with uh, things that you can do to help prevent against cancer. You know, I saved my life all these years, 32 years, and I'm still going strong, knock on wood, and I'm gonna keep going, and I'm gonna keep trying to get the information out there. I wanna help you, and I want to get you a guide so that you know where you can go and eat, and know where you can stay, go on a healthy vacation, and not fall prey to all the stuff that's out there that's making us all sick. So uh, stay tuned, uh, stick with us. Uh, we're out here to help you and we really want to make a difference. And this is James Templeton saying, have a wonderful, healthy day and we'll talk to you next time.